Before he was starring in one of the most popular shows in TV history, Wes Bentley was just a kid from Arkansas trying to make it as an actor. I had the chance to sit down one on one with the Yellowstone star as we talk career, family and growing up right here in the natural state. Yellowstone fans may love or hate Jamie Dutton. You should think twice about canceling the airport funding. <laughs> I thought plenty about it. Well, it's five million a year to the ranch for a ranch that loses three. Do the math. You know, there's other revenue streams for the ranch, Jamie. Oh, name one. But as for the man who plays him, Wes Bentley was just a kid from Arkansas who wanted to be an actor. In my family, we really liked Monty Python and skit shows like that, <laughs> SNL. So me and my brothers would we would we would do, do skits basically and try to make each other laugh or crack or make our parents laugh. Performing those sketches as a kid, Wes could never imagine in his wildest dreams that one day he would share the screen with Oscar winner Kevin Costner. What my favorite thing about what he has done and what he did on this show is um coming into it, everyone was really excited to do the show and really nervous to do the show and wanted to do wanted to do their best and. He did a great thing of coming in and saying, hey, I'm nervous too. I know we're all nervous. We all want to make this great. Um, we are going to be great. There's a reason we're here. Five seasons later, Yellowstone was the most watched non-sports and non-Oscars telecast of 2022 with the season four finale averaging over 13 million viewers. Fans love Yellowstone almost as much as Beth Dutton hates Jamie. We're all going to prison. You know, it is the eighth wonder of the world. You aren't already there. How in the world do you and Kelly Riley do the scenes that you do and then you just say cut and you're just the best of friends? Yeah, well, it's acting. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's it, we're both good at what we do. And so it's um, it's good to uh, it's good to be with somebody who can go the places Kelly goes. And because we needed that to really make this stand out as such a prominent part of this story. Um, you know, it had to be unique and, and the commitment had to be there. And so uh, it's it's amazing to work with her because she is just um, it's she's a great actor, number one, but a great person. And, and to to be able to do those terrible scenes and really go at each other and then to walk out of it laughing <laughs> sometimes is uh, um, just a testament to, I guess, our commitment, because we're also committed to keeping our normal lives as normal as we can. Before he portrayed the black sheep of the Dutton family, Wes was just trying to make a name for himself at Sylvan Hills High School with the help of his drama teacher, Jeannie Gray. Jeannie was, uh, Miss Gray was an, a huge part of, of me finding myself as an actor. I got into her class at an early age than most kids and she even made a drama three for me by the time I got to senior, which was uh, directing. So she really took care with me and uh, helped me focus on becoming better and better through these competitions we would do, we wouldn't even really do plays. We would do um, go to these speech and voice competitions and I would do monologues or a scene with another actor and or improv, which I really loved. Jeannie continued to coach and support Wes as he landed roles in Oscar winning films such as American Beauty, co-starred with icons such as Heath Ledger and starred in blockbuster films like The Hunger Games. And she was just amazing at, at nurturing me and the rest of the kids in the class. And she had so much love for us and she's got great insight. Always had an amazing, I, that's why I still check in with her about <laughs> my performances. She's always had just great taste. So um, I was very lucky to have her. The two continue to text and share notes, but they have not seen each other in quite some time. That is until now. Before we let you go, we do have one last surprise for you. I mentioned a lot of Arkansans are really proud of you. There's one specific Arkansan who is very, very proud of you. And I think she should come say hello. What do you think? Oh my gosh, What yes. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, hey. Hi. Oh my God. It's so I'm good so to see you. I'm so glad you're there. I know, right me too. Yeah. <laughs> what a great surprise. <laughs> I wish I was in the studio now. I'll give you a big hug. <laughs> I know. I, I would love that. I would love that. But I'm so excited that Hayden invited me. And this is just amazing. Like, it's come full circle because the, the beginning is there. And, yeah. and with her and my mom and, and Jeannie were, were really like the ones who gave me the confidence and made me realize that this actually could happen. And my dreams weren't just a dream, but a possibility. Thank you so much. And what a great surprise. It's so good to see you, Jeannie. I love you. So good to see you. I love you too. 
wonderful reunion. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. That just goes to show that like teachers and coaches, like that confidence that they give you mm -hmm. is so important over the years mm -hmm. and it just shows that he's a testament to that. So. Impacts Hollywood, doesn't yeah. it? And oh the lessons that are learned, the confidence that is gained, yes. carries over to your professional career mm -hmm. and the whole world notices. Yeah. Yellowstone Hunger Games happened at Sylvan Hills. High School. Yeah. Yes, go oh. Bears. 